Hello, in this video, I will explain how to draw perspective view of a hexagonal pyramid using its top view and side view. In my previous video, we have drawn isometric view of a square prism using its front view and top view. You can use any two of the three views that is front view, side view and top view for drawing perspective view of an object. The given object is a hexagonal pyramid with base edge 20 mm and height 35 mm which is resting on its base on the ground plane with one of its base edges touching with the PP. So you can see this is our picture plane and in this picture plane one base one side of the base of this pyramid is touching. Station point is given which is 40 mm in front of picture plane. So this distance is 40 mm in front of picture plane this station point is there. So 40 mm this distance and 30 mm above the ground plane. So this distance is given 30 mm and it is 30 mm right of the axis of the pyramid. So this is axis of the pyramid from that axis its distance of this plane is 30 mm towards right. First we will draw top view of the picture plane which will be a line. So I have drawn this PP. So now we will draw top view of this pyramid which will be a hexagon with one side on PP. So keeping one side on PP I have drawn one hexagon and I have joined all these lines from the center uh, because these are the uh, slant edges of the pyramid. In this way you have completed top view of this pyramid and uh, after that mark all the corner points. I have named these corner points as A, B, C, D, E, F and this O is the apex. Uh, this is O. So this point is A, B, C, D, E and F. So six points are there. So in this way I have completed this top view. Now I will draw top view of this plane, central plane which is at a distance of 30 mm from the axis of this pyramid. So this is axis from here this central plane is at a distance of 30 mm towards right side. So in this central plane we can draw top view of this station point. When you look from top you will get this here S and this distance is given. Uh, this distance is station point is 40 mm in front. So this distance is 40 mm. So mark this point as which is at a distance of 40 mm from the picture plane. So, uh, in this way you will get uh, station point as. Next you have to join this station point with all the corner points. I have joined all corner points and once you have joined this, uh, once you have drawn all these lines, these are visual rays. These rays are intersecting picture plane at different points. You need to get all those points. So I have got this when you join S with A you will get this as intersection point. If you join S with F you will get this point as uh, intersection point. Uh, now you can see B, O and E. If These three are in same line. So when you join these three points you will get intersection point at this, uh, at, at this place. So there will be three points here. Similarly when you join S with D you are getting intersection point here. So you have to get intersection point of all these visual rays with picture plane. After that we will draw side view. For that you need ground line because uh, it is kept on ground. We will draw ground line at a distance more than sum of these two distances. These two distances. So these two are 40 mm plus 30 mm. So more than 70 mm. Any length, any distance you can take more than 70 mm and draw this ground line. After that you can draw side view of this uh, pyramid. For that I have drawn side view of picture plane and mark this as P double dash. So when you look from side, this is side. From this side when you look, you will get one vertical line. So this is vertical line of this uh, picture plane. Now uh, when you look from side, you will mm, see, uh, you can, you will be able to see these three points. So these three points means A, F and E will be visible. So how can you get this? For that, this point draw one line at an angle of 45 degree. Now project all these points in uh, inside view. So I have from all these points A, B, C, D, E, F from all the points I have drawn horizontal lines uh, and after that I have drawn vertical lines. In this way you have to project. Now these points, this base is kept on uh, this uh, ground line therefore all these points will be here. So A, B you can see from here A, B I have brought it here. So A and B will appear here. So I mark this A, A double dash and B double dash. So this point A double dash and this is B double dash. When you look from this side you will see A double dash and B double dash is not visible. And next in this line you will get uh, F, O and C. In this line you will get F, O and C. 
so here f and c these two points are f and c are on uh, on ground line so mark these two points i have marked this f double dash and c double dash f double dash f is visible and c is not visible similarly e is visible and d is not visible which will which you will obtain here e double dash d double dash now o is in this line and o is at some height so what is the height of this pyramid height is given 35 mm so from here take 35 mm height and mark the point so this distance is 35 in this way you will get o double dash now join o double dash with all these points you will get required pyramid in side view so once you get side view now you need side view of this station point before that you can draw uh, front view of this station point so station point is at this line central plane uh, front view so this is front view f dash so this you have obtained here which is at a distance of 30 mm from ground line so once you get this f dash uh, side view will be beside front view we know that side view is always beside front view so in this line so you can draw one line in this line only you will get side view of this uh, this station point so when you look from this side so the station point will be at a distance of uh, 40 mm from this picture plane so this is my picture plane so from picture plane this distance will be 40 mm so mark this point for side view of this station point as s double dash so this distance is 40 mm from here so height is 30 and distance is 40 once you get this station point side view of the station point uh, again you have to do same uh, thing what you have done with this top view uh, same thing you have to do with side view also and join this f double dash with all these points corner points and get intersection points so i have joined f double dash with o double dash e d f c a b all points and uh, uh, and in this way you will get intersection point with picture plane so this is intersection point with picture plane this is another intersection point this is another intersection point and this another intersection point once you get all these intersection points you have got intersection points here in top view you have got intersection points here in side view so from top view you draw vertical line and from front view uh, from side view draw horizontal line in that way you will get corresponding point in your perspective view so for example here when you join a you will get intersection point here in picture plane from here draw vertical line I have drawn my vertical line and when you join this uh, side view of uh, station point with a dash you get intersection point in this picture plane here so from here draw horizontal line so intersecting these two point here at a so this point is your a in perspective view similarly from b also other points i have drawn from b uh, this is intersection point from b so i have drawn vertical line and this is intersection point for uh, from side view so horizontal line in this way you will get b now when you join s with c this is the intersection point so from c i have drawn vertical line this vertical line from c and when you join c here uh, you will get this intersection point from this point draw horizontal line so this two together are meeting at point c similarly where is d so this is d so this is intersection point for d draw vertical line from d and uh, when you join this c with here you, this is d so this is intersection point with picture plane so from this point from this point you have drawn horizontal line so these two are meeting at this point which is point d so now point e now you have seen already b o e all are in same line so same vertical line so here e uh, and here e where is e this is e so this is intersection point for e so this point will be your e similarly now you can get f uh, so this is intersection point for f draw vertical line from there from this intersection point and where is f here so this is f so this is intersection point i already drawn horizontal line so intersection of uh, so these two are meeting at this point so this point is your f in this way all base points you have obtained now similarly o you can obtain you can see this is intersection point for o this vertical line and uh, f double dash is joined here o dash so this is intersection point uh, for o double dash here for side view from here draw one horizontal line so horizontal line which is meeting this vertical line at this point so this point is your o so in this way you have obtained all the points now these are the visual rays you are um, you are standing here this is observer's eye and from here you are looking at this object now you can see when you look from this side 
A, B, C will be visible, but D, E, F are, uh, these three points are not visible. So in that way, I will join this with thick lines, A to B, B to C, uh, and after that I have joined with O because all these are visible. So these sites are visible sites, but other sites are not visible when you look from here, this F, E, D, this will not be visible, F, E and D. So these lines will be joined with dash lines. I have joined these as with dash lines. So this is what you need. This is the uh, required perspective view of the given hexagonal pyramid. In this way, you can draw perspective view using uh, top view and side view of the object. Thank you for watching this video.